Okay, so today I'll be doing my assignment one documentary for unit two in level three business BTEC, and today I'll be covering three P tasks. Now, before we start, I would like to mention that the three P tasks all specify that we need to choose a selected organization, and my selected organization of choice is the RNLI institution. So the P1 task is describe the recruitment documentation used in a selected organization. The P2 task is describe the main employability and personal communication skills required when applying for a specific job role. And the P3 task is describe the main physical and technological resources required in the operation of a selected organization. So before I answer any of the P tasks, I'm going to just start off by talking about what the RNLI is. So the RNLI is a charity based in the UK which strives to achieve maximum safety on the shores and at sea. The RNLI stands for Royal National Lifeboat Institution and although the RNLI mostly operates in England, they have stations based in Ireland and Wales which means that they're operated mostly in the UK. So the P1 task is all about recruitment documentation. So within the RNLI, there are multiple jobs and voluntary work which all have different requirements in order to be taken. It's worth mentioning that the voluntary works are usually the jobs that you you know you risk your lives for, whereas the jobs, the paid jobs, are more like you know finance, managing, and advisory and stuff like that. So as an example, the RNLI workers must attend the RNLI college based in Pool so that they get the training they need to save lives. It's, it's extremely important. It also must be ensured that employees are able to work flexible hours, so this may mean that voluntary workers uh, will have to you know, sacrifice other places of work. Uh, as for paid jobs, people with recruited with more experience will get a higher pay, and the pay is usually quite good because it's a very you know, advisory, finance managing, stuff like that. It's very specific. So the P2 is all about employability skills, so this includes personal skills and communication skills. The RNLI recruits must have certain skills required to take on the responsibility of saving people's lives. There's much higher standards and specific skills involved because there are lives at stake. So as for communication skills, recruits must make sure that they can communicate fastly and efficiently towards their crewmates, uh, but also to the people that are injured, make them feel comfortable. The RNLI states on their website that recruits must have these specific values. So recruits must be selfless. People being rescued have a higher priority than any recruit. Recruits must be willing to put themselves in danger in order to save others. Recruits must also be dependable. They should ensure that they have enough time to take up the job of being in the RNLI. It's crucial that anyone within the workforce can fulfill their promises and be available when they promise to be. Failure of dependability could result in somebody's death. They must be trustworthy. The RNLI relies on donations and so there is a level of trust between the people who donate and the RNLI. The finance team must be ensured that all donations are used effectively and money must be put to the best possible use. The recruits must also be courageous, being brave and adaptive to environments new to workers, not letting anything get in the way of their jobs, saving lives at sea. So the P3 focuses in on physical and technological resources which are used in the RNLI during operation. So the RNLI have a vast variety of resources, including both physical and technological. Physical resources specific to the RNLI include boats like the class Trent boat, as you can see here, and the class Shannon boat. There are many others which are fit for different tasks and different weather types. Those were just two examples. There is also lots of safety equipment adapted to the sea so that people in danger have the maximum safety possible. One example of this is spinal boards. Spinal boards are designed for spinal injuries and it gives stability so that the spine remains in the exact same position as it was while it was on the ground. Technological resources include SIMS, which is the navigation system they use to understand where they're going and the safest way to go about it. It's basically how they control their boats. Another example of technological resource is lights that they use to house the recruits. Uh, the RNLI are very strict on ensuring that they are very economically friendly and they use solar panels whenever they can afford them. Thank you for listening.